Greetings everyone, this is Shahar Khan and in this lesson we are going to learn about cross-site scripting attacks. Cross-site scripting or XSS is basically a client-side attack or vulnerability using which an attacker can execute JavaScript code on the web application or the website. Due to improper reflection of user input, access and vulnerability is caused. Like you can see in this case, the session parameter's value is returned here. So by entering a payload, it's improperly reflected back in the HTML page. And once rendered, we'll execute the JavaScript command. Like you can see here, a prompt, JavaScript prompt is executed. And we can see this pop up over here. This pop up means that the JavaScript code is executed. This is a kind of harmless demonstration of XSS vulnerability. In the next lesson, we will learn different types of XSS vulnerabilities. Greetings everyone, this is Shahar Khan and in this lesson we are going to talk about reflected XSS vulnerabilities. Reflective or reflected XSS basically means the XSS that is reflected back in the, you can say, web page. So just like that. Whatever I enter here will return in the HTML. So the value that is in the address bar is reflecting back here. And the value is not permanent. I mean, if I remove this value and submit, then this value will not be stored here. So it's a kind of reflection, like whatever I enter here will reflect in the HTML. So the XSS that is caused by the reflection and the XSS which is not permanent is called reflective XSS. For example, if I enter a payload here. And we can see the prompt JavaScript prompt dialog here. But if we remove this from the request, the payload will be removed. That's because the value or the pair or the payload is not in the request. Now what actually happens behind the scene is our input is treated as an HTML like now this is a normal string in an HTML body now if our input is improperly reflected uh, then I will be able to include HTML tags here now if I include h1 tag and if it's treated as an HTML tag, then it's an XSS vulnerability. Like you can, say, you can see here, it's a kind of HTML injection. I can inject HTML tags. And if using HTML injection, if I can execute JavaScript commands, then it's an XSS vulnerability. I can also use like a script tag here. Alert one. And if this is rendered, as you can see, it's not being filtered. Like if we search somewhere else, it will be filtered. These tags will be converted to something like this. Right now, it's in vulnerable format, so it's vulnerable to XSS. But if it's protected, if a site protected, 
it will be converted to something like this. I mean, not like this actually. These will be converted to ampersand LT like this. These are actually HTML entities. So it will be converted to HTML entities or any other. So this won't be rendered as HTML. But in this case, it's being rendered as HTML because it's vulnerable to XSS. So if this executes, it means our application is vulnerable to XSS and this parameter is vulnerable as it's reflecting the input improperly. So this is the access vulnerability and it's a reflective access as it's not permanently stored. In the next lesson we'll learn about persistent accesses. This is actually not non-persistent, we will learn about stored and persistent accesses.